Now this is a crazy thing to admit, but I've actually never been fishing. That's gonna change today because I'm meeting up with my friend Kaylin from Nova Scotia Explorer and we're heading to Liverpool. We're going to meet Peter Lavender who runs fishing tours in the area and I think we're going small bass fishing. I'm not sure, but honestly, whatever kind of fish it is, it will be the first time for me. But first, we need a fishing license. We're gonna buy a one-day fishing license. You can get one online, or you can come into this spot in Liverpool and buy one for a day or a season. Ours is just a day, and it's 7 dollars including tax for both residents and non-residents. So originally, we were going to go to 10 Mile Lake, went down, it was very choppy. Could have been very scary for my first time fishing. But now we're at Pond Hook Lake. It looks so much nicer, very calm, sun is out. I have a hat or a visor, gotta put it on. Do not want to burn today. Kaylin says look, I, that I look like a mom because I'm wearing my Canada visor. Very much a mom. Yeah. What are we catching today? We're catching small most bass. And you're putting it there. You I go. Still don't have one. It's, you won't even be using it. <laughs> no, no, you had it the right way the first time. No. Yes. I'll leave it go. Let's have some fun. This is right. <laughs> no, right? no, it's uh, no. It's the other way. You've got it on. <laughs> yep. There you go. All no, right. You're yeah, you're looking. I can catch a fish. I do. If we were on 10 Mile Lake, I'd feel, yes, you're going to catch a fish. Here, I'm just hoping to catch a fish. <laughs> it's not as easy to catch a fish in this system. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to make a real effort. confident she's gonna catch a fish. I've and been fishing around the world in Japan. But I have beginner's luck. <laughs> so let's see if either of us catch one and who catches one first. I'm not saying it's a contest. But who catches it's the always, biggest? But it's a bit of a contest. 90% of the time when you go fishing, it's a contest. <laughs> you got to be really careful, as you know, and you'll find out where you're casting and how when you bring that rod back and that's behind you. Don't hit me in the face. you got to make sure some of you don't hook anybody. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've got uh, first aid and I can get the hook out. <laughs> but you got to be brave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And they go in and they're pretty sharp. So, you, but the way you fish that is you just cast it out. So, oh, wow. You're, you're good. I'm not going to get that far. Oh, yeah, you will. Oh, well, here comes lunch. I'm just going to pop the jump for you if I don't go see. <gasps> Nine years old, I bet. Yeah, they don't grow quick here. And you notice how I'm holding him? Mm -hmm. You catch one, don't never be afraid. The smallmouth bass, because look, all I did is like sandpaper. Oh wow. Too old. Too old. Too important to keep in the water. So we put him back in. <laughs> okay, this was very, very exciting. Like old man in the sea. Didn't know if I could <laughs> reel him in. Thank you for letting me try. That's Almost put my back out on that one. I was very afraid I would lose it for everyone. But it was also a large one, so we put him back in. So we're looking for one at how many inches? Oh, probably 
12 to 13 inches would be good. Okay. Even 11 inches. Okay, 11 to 13 inches is what we're looking for. And if we get one that size, that will be our lunch. Down, you, maybe. He's scared of you too. <laughs> okay. Look, right tight, just like that. Just like that. Yeah, just right tight. Okay. Yeah, show. I caught this. <laughs> what are you gonna name him? <laughs> His name is Lunch. <laughs> oh, lunch, I like that. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. This is so good. Yeah. All right, we're gonna put him back in. He's too small. Bye, bye, Lunch. It's huge! It's hard to feel it in! Put the slides up from on. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> wow! Holy crow! Very good with the etiquette. <laughs> wow! I definitely want a picture with a this picture, one. Yeah. Even though I didn't catch it myself. I did pull it in, and I think I put it on my back. Bye-bye, <laughs> big guy. Fisherman. I loved it. It was so easy to learn. Peter was awesome. And I think I caught like five. Beautiful weather. We let go of the five that I caught as well as some others that were too small. We also put some back in that were too large and we kept a couple. And so his philosophy here is it's catch and release but they keep a couple for lunch and that's it. And that's to maintain fish for future use, future weeks, future generations. I loved it. I could have been out there all day. I can't wait to go fishing again. A little, it's a little big, but we're gonna take the chance. It's probably more 15. Up there in the tree. That's where I put it. And I can't get it out. <laughs> There's no tree bass. <laughs> but that's what I thought there was. Maybe there's one up in the tree. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Dessert, Peter said we had to stop at the AFN for ice cream.